today we're covering some unfortunate news that we just received for the 1.21 update. Not just concerning, actually really confusing. Mojang just kind of made one of the weirdest moves that they've made in a while. And there's really only one reason that I can think of for why they might have done it. Aside from the default reason, that is. So let's go over everything that you need to know regarding this news. With the latest Minecraft snapshot, we didn't really get any new content for 1.21 aside from the new locator maps for the trial chambers. Except we got one thing that I wasn't expecting to see for at least another month, probably. And sadly, it wasn't a good surprise. <sighs> So, Mojang added the advancements for 1.21. For some of you, that might not sound like a very big deal. But for those of you who are more familiar with the snapshot schedule, you probably know what that means. Or at least what it has always, without fail, basically meant in the past. You see... Mojang only adds the advancements once they've added all of the features for an update, or at least that's been the case for a while, and this is because they can't add advancements before they've added the feature for that advancement, so they typically wait until they've added all of the features for an update to add in the advancements at the end. This way, they don't have to go back and add more advancements later on. So, in other words, in the past, advancements for an update has always meant the update's basically done. No more content for that update. The advancements in the music disc are essentially what signified the end of the development of an update. So, in other words, this would typically mean that 1.21 is done. And this is bad because 1.21 still feels nowhere close to completion. At least to me, anyway. Everyone sees things in their own way. But to fall back on facts now. As I've mentioned a few times now, 1.21 development is still quite far behind the 1.20 development that we had had last year. I mean, if you think about it, the majority of 1.20 content, or Trails and Tales, we actually got in February and March. So now, this year in February and March is when we should be getting the majority of 1.21 content as well. Except, we haven't. If anything, we've gotten less content than we got in 2023 after Minecraft Live. So naturally, it was reasonable to assume that Mojang was working on something big just behind the scenes. Because, well, what else could they be doing? Yet, the time that we probably will have gotten that reveal now, that big reveal, has passed. Now that we have the advancements, that means it's highly unlikely that Mojang's gonna add any other major content this update. Not to mention that it was right around this time last year that we got our last major content snapshot for 1.20, and that was on March 22nd to be specific. So the week equivalent to that this year would probably be this week that's now passing, or maybe next week that we'll see a big reveal. Because we did also get a Minecraft Monthly to coincide with that major snapshot on March 22nd last year. And we also had a Minecraft Monthly earlier in March that year. One more towards the start of the month. So basically we had two Minecraft Monthlies talking about major new features at opposite ends of the month. So, my theory, or hope is that maybe that will also be the case this year. Because next week is probably really the last chance for this big reveal. As after that last major snapshot in March last year, we barely received any other 1.20 content after that. Now, what does all of this have to do with the advancements? 
Well, there's another thing that Mojang might be doing here. Mojang knows their schedule, of course. They know that the advancements typically signify the end of an update's development, and they likely know that the community knows that as well. And yet, they added the advancements now. Even though Ulraf, one of the developers at Mojang, mentioned in a recent video about the mace on the official Minecraft YouTube channel, that the method by which the player obtains the mace is going to change, more specifically the heavy core. He says that right now it's found in vaults, but won't always be that way. And then they also comment on how it's going to be a very interesting, rare challenge. So, it's not an ordinary trial in a trial chambers, the heavy core will instead be obtained through some bigger, more interesting, and rarer challenge. But the trial chambers are already one of the most interesting challenges in Minecraft. In fact, there are very few other places that you'll find as many mobs to fight. So what could be a greater challenge than the trials? What type of enemy mob is more challenging to fight than a regular enemy mob? A boss. I already made a video a bit ago talking about why it's likely that we're getting a new boss in 1.21. Though, I'll admit, as time went on and we didn't see more evidence of getting one, I lost some confidence in that theory. And then this video dropped on the Minecraft YouTube channel, and it all aligns even better now. Because what if, and I know it's not very likely, what if the advancements are just to lead us astray, to make us think that the update is done and that we won't be seeing any more features in it? And then, maybe as a surprise for Minecraft's 15th anniversary, they announce whatever big thing they've been working on, whatever the developers were referring to in that video, because they confirmed that there is still something more to come for 1.21 there. And with Minecraft's 15th anniversary coming up, it actually makes some sense. Surely Mojang knows how disappointed the community has been with the updates lately. So maybe, just maybe, this is their plan to hype people up again. Especially since we do have the advancements, but still not the music disc. Also, the other really big thing here is that we still do not have the update name yet. I mean, we got the name for Trails and Tales right at the start of March for last year. Again, because we'd basically just gotten the second wave of content for that update right before that. But us still not having the update name? That means that there's still too much content missing from the update for the theme to be clear enough for Mojang to reveal the name of the update. Meaning, we really might be seeing that big reveal maybe as soon as next week, and there would probably be a Minecraft monthly release to coincide with something like that. So to wrap things up, the advancements might mean what they typically mean, that 1.21 is now basically done, or this is the developers messing with us or trying to throw us off so that they do a bigger reveal later, and catch everyone by surprise with it or lower their expectations to then blow them away. Now, which of these is more likely? Call me optimistic, but I'm gonna say it's a 50-50 split, or just about. Now, one last important thing here. Consider subscribing. It helps me a lot, and it helps you if you like Minecraft content. But that does it for this video. I hope to see you in another one, and goodbye.